Hey YouTube, um, I'm coming here today uh, to do a recap or update uh, about my hair journey, uh, some changes I'll be making, and um, a product I would like for someone to try. So I'll explain all that you know, as I go along with the video. But I also like to thank all the new people who have subscribed to me. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and I hope that you enjoy the videos and if you have any questions or tips you want to share with me, um, please leave me a message um, and I will be happy to respond or try try things. Uh, so with my hair update, um, like I said in my last video that I, I made uh, during the summer, um, I had a lot of personal things going on in my, uh, in my life and I also uh, did a move. And so now I'm here closer closer to the East Coast, I'm on the East Coast time zone. And um, out here, the weather is more humid, like during the summer, and it gets kind of very, very cold. And so when you're moving and you're looking in different parts of the country, uh, it does affect the weather. And sometimes too, it does affect your hair and how you do need to take care of it. And that's something I'm still learning to do. Um, and I feel like possibly during the summer, I probably don't have to use as much moisture because there's a lot of moisture in the air, which is great. But when it starts to get cold and dry, um, sometimes you know you have to add more here and there to your regimen to maintain its overall health. And so moving in itself can be stressful. And so for me, um, kind of like I stated in previous video videos, uh, sometimes when I get really stressed, like extreme forms of stress, my hair will start to fall out. So lately, I've been uh, experiencing a lot of shedding. And it could be for a couple of reasons. One, the weather is cold, uh, so a lot of people shed during winter anyway. Uh, two, uh, stress of moving and starting a new job. And um, three, like my hair has been feeling a lot drier um, than normal. And so, which is why I'm thinking about changing up my, my weekly regimen. Um, so about my hair, uh, today's Sunday, and Sunday is usually the day where I do my uh, usual um, hair routine, my weekly routine, um, but um, with my hair, you know how some of us have like the kitchen in the back of the neck that's real uh, prone to the kinks and, and all that other good stuff? Well mine is like kind of like in the center of my, my scalp, like right in here. It is the most dry, it is the most brittle, it is the most difficult part you know, of my, my head. And uh, I'm not sure why that is. I spoke to a lot of other women, they also share this. And um, I feel like it could be for a bunch of reasons. One, when I usually wear my protective styles, I do usually wear my hair parted in the middle with ponytails or buns or things of that nature. So that area is usually exposed. Um, so I'm trying to, and I thought about too, maybe, because I promise you, I've been wearing my hair in its natural state for the past, uh, year or so. And, um, this December, December, 2012 marks my two year, uh, hair, um, hair journey. And, um, at the end of the month, at the end of December or around the beginning of January, I'm going to, um, have a new video for you showing my uh, two-year um, journey and i also show you a video of my, my hair length. So I'll get that to you guys soon as well. Um, but one thing I have noticed uh, with my hair because it has been getting really dry, I don't use heat. Uh, the only time I use heat is to do a length check and I may do that one time, wear the hair for like a day or two and wash it right out. So I'm not using excessive heat. I am keeping it moisturized. I keep my hair protected at night but yet it's still getting real dry and brittle and damaged. And so I'm kind of thinking maybe that I need to add more protein to my hair. So to show you uh, a sample, I um, was trying to give myself a trim to get rid of some of these dead ends. And I noticed, uh, especially in the center of my hair, um, where a lot of damages. And I'll show this to you guys so you guys can see. Hope it comes out clear. But there is a picture of my hair, and you can kind of see where it is splitting all along the hair shaft. And so it's not just at the ends, like all through, sometimes through the hair shaft itself, it's splitting. 
So I think I might need to add more protein to my hair and to see how that changed. So last week or two weeks ago, um, I went down to Sally's and you guys already know how I feel about Sally's. And I picked up um, this Apogee uh, two in one step. Now, when I first started my hair journey and I was trying different products, I had like a little bottle of Apogee um, protein uh, treatment and I hated it. It like, if you, especially if you have curly hair, it feels like it's shrinking your hair up. It gets real hard. It had little yellow flakes of protein in my hair. I thought it was awful. And I was like, I'm not dealing with this. I hate Apogee. I tried some egg proteins. I tried some other stuff, but I was like, okay. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I'll just stay away from proteins. But given the condition of my hair, you know, drying out and, you know, breaking and feeling damaged, I decided to try to give, well, this is the only um, protein treatment that they had at Sally's. And so for like a hot $2, I figure I'll give it a try and just to see what happens. So I followed the directions and I tried it and it was great. Like I, I did the, I don't have a blow dryer um, or a hair dryer. So I let the, the first part, step one, uh, put it into my hair, I let it air dry. And it did get hard, and but the directions of it said that it you know would do that. And then after I washed it out and I put the moisturizer in there, which is step two, um, you could really see like great definition uh, in the curl and I was like oh my goodness this is great and so they said that you, you can use this every uh, six weeks so I think six weeks from now I'm going to try it again to see uh, how it um, how it takes how my hair affects is affected by it but I really think I like this product so uh, I think FG has redeemed itself temporarily anyways in my eyes so if anybody else has tried this product um, please let me know what you thought about it or how it's worked for you because um, I think this um, the, the package, the two-in-one package, which is a lot easier to use than the um, than a little bottle of whatever it was that they had. Um, also too, while I was at Sally's, I picked up a deep conditioning mat, um, deep conditioning bonnet and I've always seen these and I thought they look really weird but it's supposed to help your hair deep condition and it's kind of have like this silver foil look and it's supposed to be like self heating so you're supposed to put it on there and it's supposed to you know help condition your hair and it's supposed to like you don't need as much I guess heat applied from outside sources to uh, help process. So I tried it once. I didn't really feel too much heat going on with it. And I don't know if we're supposed to use it in com uh, combination with a, um, a blow dryer or something like that. But if you tried it and liked it, or if you could think of a different brand, um, let me know. So this was okay. I'm thinking about giving it a second shot today when I start washing out my hair. And so the third thing I'm going to talk about today is um, what I call like my all natural hair gel and I'm really curious for those of you guys who watch whose hair is natural and you guys wear it in its natural state and especially if you have wavy curly hair like mine if you guys would be willing to try this product because I'm curious to see how well it works for you and so I'm going to be changing my regimen for the next three months probably until March um, where I'll probably do another length check by then too um, because the times I, when I was trying to use this protein and see what was for my hair, I noticed that my hair stayed moisturized longer with this hair gel. And so to make the hair gel, um, you're going to need, um, this is Lily of the Desert, um, aloe vera gel. And you can get this at pretty much any um, whole food, natural food store. And I prefer this over than like the Walmart aloe vera gel because it's actual aloe vera gel from like the aloe vera plant. And aloe vera gel, if you guys ever see in a bush, like it is green or have a very light green in color. What they sell at Walmart is clear. So I don't know how they have or can call it aloe vera gel when it's not the color of aloe vera. That's just disturbing to me. Um, the other products we're
So now that um, I finished making my aloe vera gel, my natural hair gel, I'm going to go ahead and wash and condition my hair, but um, I'm going to um, come back and show you how I apply this, um, this natural gel to my hair and show you how curly it makes my hair. And one of the reasons I started using this gel uh, is going back to my attempt to restore pH balance uh, in my hair um, because I think that's also too maybe another reason why it's uh, breaking or splitting and aloe vera gel is um, one of the things that is natural that can be used to store uh, pH balance and even on this bottle uh, when it says listed as ingredients um, they do add an enzyme that restores the pH balance, which is the natural pH balance in your hair is 7. So it kind of re, uh, realigns uh, the pH balance within your hair, skin, and another thing. So that's one of the reasons I use aloe vera gel um, in this product. So um, I'll be back. Hey everyone, so I just finished washing and deep conditioning my hair. And um, I've already applied my um, aloe vera gel mix uh, to my hair and, and put it in its protective style. And as you can see, I'm still doing the uh, in the middle part. Um, but this is just a small sample of how I apply the gel and how I feel using this helps retain the curl and the moisture. Because in my opinion, there is nothing better than a, a hydrated curl. And the smell of it is just amazing. So I'll just put it in like that. And if you can see So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's see a little bit of the curl there. So if you want to give it a try, let me know what you think for uh, retaining moisture in your hair. I'm probably going to be doing this, like I said, for a couple months. I'm going to be putting my Mazzani uh, down for a while just to see if I can, uh, you know, use other things for moisturizer and. Um, hopefully stop the breakage. All right. Hope you guys have a happy holidays.